checking the stats every minute this week. I'm doing my part, I'm paying attention, and I play my position. It's the Crypto Lights here, we're back with another video guys, so Circulate Finance or Circulate Money, whatever you want to call it, is not actually anything right now because it's rugged, uh, so I spoke about this, um, not yesterday, the day before, and um, yeah, a bit of a shock to the system for a lot of people that this one actually rugged, um, it's probably not even that it rugged, it's probably that it rugged so, so quickly, and um, yeah, I mean, this is just the reality of the space. Me personally, I put about five, almost five and a half thousand dollars into this project. And, you know, like many others, that money seems to have been lost or stolen, however you want to look at it. And um, the thing that bothers me most about this one, right, it's not, I've been robbed for a lot more money than that before, but I've never seen a scammer, like, do an AMA, do the raise, right? And then after they've done the raise, instead of just, rugging and taking the money they do further amas even when they've closed the contract not accepting any more money apparently right and you know begin to promote the project and like just come up with all these promises and how they're different to everyone else it just sounded so convincing literally just to within a few hours just rug the whole project and run off with like two million dollars okay like that's probably what bothered me so much about it. The fact that the guy seems so genuine on AMAs with FUD Farm and Murdoch DeFi. Um, and then just decided to just rug just like that, you know. Um, we've seen projects rug, you know, um, or give up. You know, they try and run the project for a long time or, or for a short time, for example. And, uh, you know, they find it too much or they can't fulfill their promises. And then they decide to just shut down like Stable Fund or... They decide to uh, just, you know, completely close the project um, after a while, right? Um, but it's like, what are they called? The circulate money. It's like, I didn't even try. It's like, you know, you can't even just assume that this guy tried. You know, he, I mean, it's never no excuse. never an excuse to just rug because you tried and it didn't work, right? But... The fact that this guy just had bad intentions from the very beginning, that just tells a story. So, yeah, I mean, this guy's going to have a lot of people that um, are trying to find him, you know, whether we ever found, you know, this this is crypto, it's the wild, wild west, right? But I know I'm getting DMs and people doing this type of tracking and trying to figure out who's who and mods and, um, you know, all that sort of stuff, right? We don't even know if James is his real name, Um. Yeah, it's just a. It's, it can leave a, a a very sour taste in your mouth um, when these things happen. So, you know, as influencers, we talk about projects. Or I heard it. I heard about it from Murdoch DeFi. You know, I, I mean, I use his link. You know, for me, he hasn't done anything wrong, right? He did an AMA. He trusted the project. He believed James. I believe James and invested my own money. Not that I did an AMA with him, but he sounded convincing. And as influencers, sometimes you know, it's we have we we all take risks in this space, right? It's actually a risk not to take a risk when it comes to crypto. And um, you kind of have to go with your own gut sometimes. But going with your gut doesn't always mean that you make the right decision. But you know, there's opportunities you can miss out on sometimes because it looks a bit scammy, or somebody said it was a scam, or somebody said that the dev was a scammer. And, you know, sometimes we give people the benefit of the doubt and, you know, we, you know, there's a lot of trust involved. Uh, we do prefer trustless, immutable projects and things like that. But we're not always going to get that, right? And uh, just because someone shows their face, for example, like Sam Bankman-Fried, you know, um, Celsius, whatever that guy's name was. And, uh, you know, there's numerous projects out there that had a face beyond the project, a founder, a name, a KYC, a, uh, an audit, all those sorts of things, and yet they still rug, or they still find a way to, you know, the some of these, you know, centralized companies, they can rug you legitimately, right? So we like to go with decentralized, but when you go decentralized, unless it's a mutable code, or, you know, um, you know the person directly, and you have their address and you know that they won't do that, there's risk involved, right? It's decentralized, right? So it's trustless, but yet it still takes a lot of trust to get into a lot of these things. All right, guys, so 
you know, I've had people message me about, you know, you know, our liquidity is locked and all those sorts of things. I've seen projects with locked liquidity that have rugged, you know. Some people, they say, you know, they're going to lock liquidity and they put like $500 worth of liquidity and lock it for 12 years or whatever. Like, all that sort of stuff is just like, you know, it's not like you locked like $10 million worth of liquidity or something like that. Like, I mean, there's going to be more rugs. This is crypto. I'm very conscious uh, about the fact that there's new people in the space. Uh, most people in the space right now are probably veterans. They've been around for a while. If you survived the bear market this long and you're still here and you haven't given up on crypto already, then you've probably been through a rug or two, uh, even a time rug or two. And, um, you know, these things happen in crypto. But as you can see from Circulate, the founder or James, whatever his name is, he deleted his account uh, not long, uh, sorry, deleted his account not long after he decided to rock the project and run off with $2 million. You know, he could have rocked for a lot more, which um, I guess was part of his strategy to build trust, right? Because, he, he, you know, he closed the deposits at around $2 million. He could have kept it going and took 10 million, 20 million or whatever, right? But I think it was just a quick thing. He wanted to be in and out within a couple of days. I don't know if there's like, you know, maybe the FBI don't pursue people that rug less than two, three million or something. I don't know, right? But why two million? Why he capped it there? You know, someone made a joke saying that, you know, he's, uh, what was it? Uh, maybe he was, um, you know, um, a considerate thief like you know he only wanted to steal two million and won't steal more than two million i don't know something like that but the guy's a thief okay um there's no question of a doubt right now and um yeah this is how it goes in crypto um sometimes we take a l uh we take a l and you know we took a l on circulate money so will it stop me from investing in other projects no but of course, it is a wake-up call. Um, I think it's my first time being rugged in 2023. The first two weeks of 2023. So this is the first rug of the year for me, personally. I know some people were in Alpha Capital, for example. That one's had an expert. I won't say that's an outright rug, although I haven't really looked into it. But um, something to do with their, um, uh, their insurance fund. Somebody hacked it or whatever. But uh, circulate money, that one is this is just an outright rug, and um, you know it's a shame that they they did that because I thought it was going to turn out to be a good project. So um, I know about eighteen people use my link, not a bunch. I don't get hundreds of referrals like some other people do, some other influencers. But for those eighteen people, I do feel for you. Hopefully, you didn't lose a lot of money, um, or it's, it's not going to you know disrupt your crypto journey um but yeah um circulate money's gone all right guys so i just wanted to make a video i don't normally make update videos on rugs i normally just move on well right, i did delete the video i just delete the videos and move on but on this one you know i thought you know let me just make an update going into you know it's, it's not a good way to start the year with a rug like this all right guys so let's not get too comfortable with these bot projects some of the ones that we're in already like prosperity gen ventures i'm i'm have a huge confidence in real life fund until it shows me any different this doesn't mean i'm going to turn on every other project but um i think the ones that we have right now are probably gonna be the ones that i stick with um going forward yield robot is another one that i'm in um, but, um, yeah, I'm not going to leave links in the description on this occasion because, yeah, I mean, we need to rethink, um, uh, uh, uh some of these projects. Okay, guys. So no risk, no reward. That is something you always have to remember. And, um, yeah, hopefully we'll have, uh, the rest of the year will be much better. So, uh, yeah, guys, I just wanted to give you that quick update video. Um, and I'll see you in the very next one. Subscribe to the channel. Tick the little bell for notifications. Until next time. Peace.